there's baby carrot. My orange kitty. Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review, so it's 4.32 p.m. It's Monday, December 18th, 2023. It's one week till Christmas, but I'm um, anyway. Today I'm going to be reviewing the last one of these Georgie Energy Drinks that I got from the Sprouts Grocery Store in Tulsa. It was like $3, so it was okay priced. But um, I'm not for sure if they have other flavors or not, because they only had four flavors, so I'm not for sure if um, there's like other flavors and they may have just didn't have them, so I'm not really for sure. So I'll have to look online, I guess, later, but I'm um, anyway. Yeah, this is the last flavor that they had, so I'm going to be reviewing it. Anyway, this one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. It's an all-blue can, so it's a very pretty, you know. I like the color of it, but um, anyway. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Sparkling Paradise Punch Georgie Energy Drinks. Oh, yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Really blue. So, oh, yeah. It's interesting that it's a blue can, but it's like, I guess, supposed to be maybe like a fruit punch. So that's interesting, because normally fruit punch drinks are like red, but this is blue. But I'm um, anyway. Silver Top with Silver Tab. Bomb's the Best Buy Date and Production Code. Best Buy July 31st, 2024, so it's still fresh for a while. It's in a smooth labeled can. It says Sparkling Paradise Punch with other natural flavors. Um, it's a little bit ripped up there, but not too bad though. It's the best condition can that they had. But yeah, Georgie, energy drink with benefits. Zero sugar, five calories, biotin, B6 and B12, 12 foot ounces, 354 milliliters. Best served chilled, has SKU, plays recycle, recycling logo, and some other recycling stuff. At Get Georgie, beverage with benefits, created by followers and friends. 150 milligrams green tea caffeine. Zero sugar, no way, yes, and l theanine, focus and clarity, TYSM. Biotin, oh, that hair, skin, and nails, B6 and B12, love that for us. Shows like a lot of women, you know. But yeah, no nasties, no aspartame, no artificial flavors, XX Michelle. Non-GMO project verified, non-GMO project.org, gluten-free, five calories, vegan, kosher, getgeorgie.com. This one doesn't have the QR code like the other cans did. But yeah, low calories, contains 0% juice, nutrition facts, and says one can, per serving calories, five. Whole fat, zero grams, zero percent, sodium, zero milligrams, zero percent, dark carbohydrates, one gram, zero percent, total sugar, zero grams, includes zero grams, added sugar, zero percent, protein, zero grams. Nice and 16 milligrams, 100 percent, by 10, 30 micrograms, 100 percent, vitamin B6, 1.7 milligrams, 100 percent, vitamin B12, 2.4 micrograms, 100 percent. That has other ingredients, filtered carbonated water, citric acid, and natural flavor. I mean, natural fruit punch flavor with other natural flavors, potassium citrate, natural caffeine from green tea. Vegetable juice for color, stevial glycosides, red bam, L-theanine, niacinamide, ginger root extract, pyridoxin, hydrochloride, biotin, sun, and aluminum. One serving contains seven, sorry, 75 milligrams L-theanine. Shredded by Electric Youth Incorporated, Fairfield, New Jersey, 07004. Contains 150 milligrams caffeine for green tea per 12 ounce serving. Not recommended for children, people sensitive to caffeine, pregnant women, or women heart nursing. Daily caffeine consumption should be limited to approximately 400 milligrams per day from all sources. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so I'll let you see it right quick. Sorry for stuttering and stuff. But yeah, there's actually not a whole lot of stuff on the can. But yeah, I already showed you the top and the bottom. But um, anyway... Georgie. SKU, now for the nutrition fact side. Other ingredients. Distributor information stuff on the warning. I don't know if you can see that text good or not. A little bit dented down there too, but I'm um, anyway. That's pretty much the entire can. 
I mean, now I'm gonna show off the can up closer quick. So hold on that. The Sparkling Paradise Punch Georgie Energy Drink, really blue can. It's a little bit darker blue and on my phone, but it's like a more like a turquoise till blue in our life though. But yeah, Silver Top Silver Tab. On its Best Bite and Production Code, July 31st, 2024, so it's still fresh for a while. It's a little bit dented. Yeah, it was ripped up a little bit somewhere. Yeah, the front. Sparkling Paradise Punch. This is probably going to be like Fruit Punch. Georgie Energy Drink with Benefits. Fifty milligrams of green tea caffeine, zero sugar, has L-theanine and biotin, B6 and B12, all females on this can too. The only one where there's a guy on it was like on the mango one. The SKU, the Serp Chilled, and here's some nutrition facts. other ingredients and stuff. Stripper information in the warning, some recycling stuff. That's pretty much the entire can anyway. Now I'm gonna finish my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the can up close, now I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Yeah, you probably shouldn't shake it up too much, yeah, because it says it's sparkling, but um, all three flavors that I reviewed so far wasn't really sparkling, um, even though they still stayed fresh for like several months. Um, they weren't really carbonated, see what I mean? Yep, and this one's like barely carbonated either. Has a little bit of bubbles at the top, but um, not too much. And the color um, might look like a fruit punch color, but um, not really. It actually looks a little bit more like a pinkish color instead of a reddish color. It's like a hot pink. Almost just spilled some. But um, anyway, well, I just did spill some. Wait a minute. I just spilt it all on my pants. I don't know if you can see it. But, um, anyway, the scent. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, definitely a very pungent sweet fruit punch scent. It doesn't look like a fruit punch drink, but definitely smells like a fruit punch drink. Yeah, because normally fruit punch drinks are red, but this is like pink. But um, it smells just like other fruit punch drinks that I've had before, though. It smells like um, like the Rip It F Bomb, or like um, not really like the Ballers Blend um Punch Monster, but um. Yeah, it's definitely the closest, it's probably to like the Rip It F Bomb. It's like, um, definitely has a little bit of like a cherry strawberry scent. But, um, yeah, a little bit like orange and pineapple too, though. <sighs> yep. Definitely a very sweet fruit punch. Maybe a little bit like a lighter fruit punch, though, compared to like, um, the Rockstar Fruit Punch. That one's definitely way more pungent, but, um... This is definitely more of like a floral sweet fruit punch. Still smells pretty good though. But um, anyway, I'm not gonna try it, so here goes. <coughs> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 well. 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 Well, well, it smelled like a normal fruit punch, but um, definitely tastes different compared to like the other fruit punch drinks that I've had before. Don't know how to really describe this. Um, has that typical fruit punch flavor, but um, it's definitely a little bit more um chemically tasting though, compared to like um, some of the other fruit punch drinks that I've had before. Especially noticeable in the um, middle part of the flavor. Um, 
when you first taste it, it has like the normal fruit punch sort of flavor, but um, like a sweet fruit punch, but um, then it gets like a weird um, a little bit like a chemically um, not really like a bitter taste, but um, hmm. A little bit like a, sort of like a dry taste. Um, yeah, I don't know how to really describe this. Um, because yeah, it's like a liquid, but um, I don't know, it just has like a dry taste. I don't know how to really describe it, but um, it's like um, It's like, um, if there's like a, like if you draw like a circle, but then, um, then draw like another circle within that circle, it's like, um, it's like it's like loses like part of the flavor, like, um, in between the flavor. It's a little bit hard to describe, um, because, um, it has like the fruit punch, like, surrounding it but um it's like a different like dry taste like being surrounded by the fruit punch you know so um it's a little bit hard to describe but um because he yeah, has a sweet fruit punch taste at first but um within that taste though it has like that dry taste but um and the aftertaste too it still has that sweet fruit punch taste see what i mean but um yeah it's good but um definitely tastes a little weird though Definitely, um, actually a little bit more bland than I thought it would be, but, um, yeah, it's still okay, though, but, um, definitely had way better fruit punch drinks than this, though, even though this is a zero sugar drink, um, like, the Rockstar Fruit Punch has, like, a lot of sugar in it, but, um, I think I had another fruit punch drink that was zero sugar, but, um, it was, like, way better than this, though. I think it was, like, um, maybe a C4, but, um, yeah, this, though. A little bit disappointed in this one. It smelled like it would be good. It smelled like a good fruit punch drink, but um, the taste though, it's definitely um not a good fruit punch drink. See what I mean? It's sweet, but um tart though at the same time. Yeah, it's really smooth though. You can probably try it if you want. It's not too carbonated, but um, I still say energy wise, it lasts about three hours, about five hours of energy. So oh yeah, boys, it'll still get you lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's 150 milligrams of caffeine. It's still high in the B vitamins and stuff. And also has the bite in it, so, um, it's a little bit healthier for you compared to, like, other energy drinks. It doesn't have any, like, taurine or any other stuff in it, but, um, yeah, it's okay, but, um, definitely, um, not as good as I thought it would be, see what I mean? But, um, so far I think I liked the, um, mango one best, and then the peachy keen one. And then the um, watermelon one, and then this one. This is my least favorite of the four. I thought I would like this one, but um, judging by the smell, you know, but um, yeah, disappointed in this one. So, what I mean, but yeah, energy wise, though, still get you pretty lit. Um, it's okay priced, three dollars at Sprouts. Um, so it's okay priced. Um, has a cool can design, though, very colorful, but um, yeah, the flavor could be better. I wish it didn't have like that chemically taste in the middle part of the taste, but um. Still okay though, but um, I'd probably give the um sparkling um Paradise Punch Georgie Energy Drink. <sighs> well, I like a, a less than the watermelon one, but um, I gave the watermelon one. I said it would be like a high eight out of ten, um, because I actually did sort of like it. I thought it would maybe get close to like a low nine, but I said it would get. I gave it like a high eight. This would be more like a low eight though. I don't think it's as bad as like a 7, but um, yeah, not as good as a 9, so what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. So oh yeah, boys, it's still a little lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Oh yeah. So yeah, energy-wise, it still works pretty good. It's okay price. That's a cool can design. But yeah, the flavor could be better, so what I mean? But for a zero sugar drink, um, it's not bad though, but um, yeah, I have way better fruit punch drinks than this though, so what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Anyway, my next four reviews are going to be some sh sunshine energy drinks um i reviewed two sunshine energy drinks back in um 2020 i reviewed the blueberry lemonade one and another one but um i got four other flavors that i'm going to be reviewing but i also got a new design one of the blueberry lemonade cans but um the four flavors that i'm going to be reviewing are like the older design though um they didn't have the new designs of that of those flavors yet 
So, um, anyways, stay tuned for those reviews from my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.